Hey everyone, so in this video I just wanted to show you how you can create a custom player color. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go into your player settings and then once you're in here, I'm just going to drag this over a little bit so that we can see, um, you're going to go into colors and effects. Now with the modern player you can you you've always been able to do this with the classic player so if you have the classic player you can choose a um, different color scheme or you could do uh, so say we go to medium blue or you can show advanced coloring and it's it's just a bit more um, tricky to figure out what colors go with what so if we wanted to say change your main border to be um, teal. Um, you would go in and then you'd have to go into, sorry, got teal and then teal. And you can't really see it because it's the border, but it's going to change the edge. Um, you could do the same thing with the buttons. The normal background is this blue. Say we wanted to change it to yellow, which we wouldn't, but now we've got different colored buttons. Um, so you could always do that with the classic player, but it's fairly new functionality for the modern player. So we always had dark and light and um, your focus colors are your colors. When a user is tabbing, it'll kind of be a border that goes around the various objects. Um, the background color is going to be the background color of your um, the uh, the player itself. Sorry, and then the accent color is going to be the color that you see as an accent. Uh, for example, when you're in the menu, you see it on the side, and then you see it underneath of menu. Now, what I want to show you is how to do a custom color. So you're, you're going to click custom and then what you want to do is set your background color. I would kind of leave your accessibility focus colors. Um, the important things uh, here is that you've got a light and a dark one. So if the background's uh, dark, then the light one's going to be the primary focus color. If it's light, then you're going to have the darker focus color. But your background color is going to be this area here. So we've got this slide over here. What I want to do is use my eyedropper to select this kind of royal blue. And then for my accent color, currently we have it at that blue. I'm going to make it the teal using the eyedropper. Uh, sure. And so now we have a teal or an aqua and the royal blue. Now another thing that you could do is you can go into your background color and go to more colors and see all of these custom colors. What you could do is use your eyedropper or enter in the HTML code. And if you have a branding document, you can go through and add to the custom colors all of the branding um, elements from a style guide and then you can very quickly grab those colors for various um, elements of your project like this uh, custom player. So now we've got our player um, the color that we want it to be and all we have to do is click OK. And that's all there is to that.